Jimmy, what do you guys need to do to get off to a good start this game? And, uh, not unlike last game, the last two games. Uh, we have to take better shots, but uh, more than anything, we got to get stops. We didn't start off getting stopped last game. We got to get consecutive stops. We, you know, we aim for three in a row. You know, you try to get as many as you can anyway, but uh, three in a row is definitely good. We got to take good shots and often share the ball and get into the paint. Defensively, what's the defensive job on Jeremy Zell? Um, try to contain him. You know, he can do it all. He's a he's a great player. Um, we're gonna put DJ on him to start out, I think. And you know, maybe I'll guard him a little bit. But um, we just gotta you know lock and trail him on every screen. Um, push and block on our ball screens and just contest all of his shots. Three game road trip right now. Are you guys getting any fatigue now? Traveling all, all around uh, to the Big East games. I'd have to say we you know we, we get tired, but um, we try not to. We really try not to let it get to us. Just when all of the adrenaline hits us, it's it's a totally different story. You know, it's just another basketball game. But um, we try not to think about being tired. We just try to go out there and play harder. Possession. Jimmy, last year you were one of those guys that came off the bench, the main guy, and provided the energy. This year you're in a different role, playing a lot of minutes. You're getting some minutes now from guys like Joe. How much does that help you as a guy playing so many minutes to get a guy like Joe put off the bench? And even if it's only four or five minutes, you know, how much does that help a guy like you? Uh, it helps a lot, you know. It helps Zara too because, you know, we can both get a drink every once in a while. We can both take a take a break. But um, I, I'm really happy for Joe because he's playing really well in these past few games. You know, and if he keeps that up, his playing time is going to keep going up just like it has been. Um, he's, he's doing a lot of great things. He's in the gym. He's working hard in practice. You know, he's in the weight room right now, actually. You know, I, I'm just hoping that uh, he, he keeps pushing forward and he, he really keeps getting better. Would you like playing with him? I mean, he could potentially guard somebody smaller uh, outside. Uh, yeah, I do. You know, I, I really like to see him out there because, you know, it was fun to play with him in Juco. And um, he's, he's growing up, you know, just like I am, just like everybody is. And um, it puts me you know, back at a position I'm comfortable with, which is guard, you know, a three, somebody my size, you know, my, my weight and everything like that. And um, he, he's out there, and he's just having fun. You know, I like, I like seeing him smile and everything like that. What was it like having the ESPN play of the day? It was, it was crazy. You know, so many phone calls, text messages from friends and family saying that they uh, saw me on the top ten, number one. And, um, you know, it was just good to, to know that, you know, my family could see me. If they couldn't see me, you know, because it was on the Big East Network, it was good to, for everybody to let me know, that, you know, they were looking for me. Are you going to keep throwing your hands personally, you and Zara? Or? Uh, no telling. I, I think I am, just because I don't really feel like cutting it, you know, saving me some money right now. So I think uh, I might um, keep it going. Zar said he was going to keep his going. He said he's going to get a haircut today. I tried to talk him out of it. I don't know if he did or not. But um, I'm definitely going to keep my going. Uh, had a couple of games here in a row where you made some pretty significant contributions off the bench. How good does it feel, I guess, to finally get your feet under you in the Big East and, and, and making contributions like that off the bench? Well, it feels great. I feel that, uh, you know, everybody that, uh, that is on the bench and, and everybody that does get a little bit of time or whatever gets a lot, you know, uh, everybody's hands contribute, you know, and, and we're all trying to win. We're all in the same boat, so, you know, it feels great. At the end of non-conference season, you, you had a real good game against North Florida, and then you struggle with some fouls. Is it, is it, has it been staying on the floor for you primarily, the, the defensively and the foul lane? Has been the toughest thing I would say to this point. Really, it's mostly just uh, trying to trying to uh, in practice being able to to uh, continuously uh, learn the different defenses against the different teams and how they run their offenses and how we're supposed to defend them. You know, so uh, just being able to get comfortable and and figuring out and staying on on the same board with Zara and everybody else and the rest of the forwards. You know, in those in those specific positions. You know, it's just it's really just uh, comes down to just paying more attention to personnel. Just uh, buckling down to practice. Jimmy last year, the job Jimmy last year was that guy off the bench, kind of energizer, you know, offensive rebounds, hustles, that hustle play, that kind of thing. Is that the role that you see yourself filling right now? You know? uh, honestly, uh, it, it's just wherever coach needs me, that's what that's what I believe he tells me to go in. 
I need some rebounds. I need to. I need you to get some stops. I need you to, you know, not foul or try not to foul. You know, I'm, I'm going to do it. You know, and then uh, I feel that um, my confidence and my flow of everything comes off of rebounding and being able to, you know, contribute to defensive stops. What does he say when you shoot a three? You know, you've hit your last you're really two. Saying, no, he knows I can shoot it. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, just, just take great shots. I mean, you say the same thing to everyone else. As long as you take uh, great shots, you know, because that's what my team thrives off of. Uh, you know, he doesn't have problems. You had an unusual injury coming back for it from it. Did it take you longer than you thought? Uh, actually, no, it was a lot quicker than, than I had thought. Uh, you know, I wasn't really supposed to. Uh, they, they, the doctors figured that I wasn't supposed to be able to come back until probably by the time the season had first started and I was already going full speed by August. So, you know, I was a couple months ahead, so that was great. I and mean, staying in rehab and, and working out every day with uh, Coach Smith, it was good. Jimmy was saying that uh, when you play together with him, it reminds him of his JUCO days. Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, we had a lot of chemistry uh, at TJC, you know, and and coming here and, and with me being able to uh, contribute when I'm healthy, you know, and being on the court with him, I mean, it's just like it's just like back at home. So it feels great. You guys are coming off another overtime victory, obviously. Um, you know, a couple of back-to-back exciting games. You got another one coming up Sunday now. Just where's the team's mindset at this point? You got to be feeling pretty good. You know, you're rolling. Everything going well. You know, same as it's always been. Today's just another day of work. Got to, got to uh, get better in practice today. And, uh, learn their stuff, you know, scout them, learn all their, all their key things and what they like to do. And then uh, tomorrow, practice again. And then Sunday, we'll be ready for the game. So you guys, um, St. John's still hasn't beat you since you've been in the Big East. You guys are undefeated against Seton Hall, too. Is that, do you guys even know that going into a game? Does it matter to you, anything like that? I didn't know. No. I really don't think it matters. I don't think we, we need to know stuff like that, you know, either. You're it's, yeah, <laughs> thanks. It's just a, uh, a, you know, another game, a good chance for us to get another road win, and uh, for sure we need it. You've seen a number of prolific scorers in the Big East, Johnson, Syracuse, West Virginia kids. Where does Hazel rank in that? He's right up there. I mean, he's, he's really good with his team. You know, they, they do a good job of getting the ball and uh, good spots for him to score. And, uh, he, he yeah. does shoot some questionable shots, so uh, we have to uh, keep our head if he, he makes some questionable shots, of course. And uh, but he's you know he's right up there to me. You know I put him right up there with all those guys. I assume this before I see the same thing. Um, with as many minutes as you played, as many minutes as Jimmy plays, how valuable have the minutes been that Joel's been providing off the bench for you guys the last couple of games? Even if it's only you know for an extra minute going into immediate timeout for you to grab a break. If you ask me, he's been you know vital part of our team and uh, he's working very very hard and you know he's finally getting to show that in some of these games he doesn't you know get to show it a little too much but for sure if it wasn't for him in you know our last couple games we probably wouldn't have uh, won the one. How tough is that do you think? I mean you, you did that earlier in your career coming off the bench you know keeping a mindset like that and it being able to contribute when asked and you don't know when you're coming in the game right. how tough is that for a guy to do? Um, it's very hard you know because we all want to play and uh, you know we all want to I think you just want to feel like you're contributing to the team, you know what I mean? And, but when we're on a team like this and we're all so close and we have so much chemistry, you know, it's just it's kind of easy to forget about. You know, there, there aren't guys with any attitudes or no one thinking like, you know, the best player, and, you know, have a, you know, a big time attitude. So when, when we have a team that's, you know, this close, I think it's, it's easy to forget. Is it even more valuable this time of year with the games being so close together and then getting into tournament time? That you know somebody like you, somebody like Jimmy, is able to get maybe a, an extra minute or two here, oh, here yeah, there in the game. For sure, you know, and especially because of the league where you know every game is going to be rough. So you know, anytime we can get out, and, you know, get a little rest, it'll be good for us. And uh, Joe's been contributing very well, and uh, Eric's been getting better. You know, Junior's has been getting better, so I'm sure they'll have their time too. Last year's senior class talked about getting 10 wins every year that they were in the Big East. You have that opportunity as well. What does that mean to you? It means I'm lucky. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, you know, definitely a, a great accomplishment. And, uh, you know, I never try not to think about that stuff. And, uh, just, uh, 